So this time, uh, you guys are acting old, but in the prequel, you guys are acting as a teenager. So is there any difference in the acting, and what do you do to adjust your personalities to fit the character? It's uh, a good question. Great question. Um, you know, like you said in the, in the first one, you know, you had to tap into the youthful side, um, you know, of uh, of the characters, and this one going older. I think the uh, the biggest challenge is making sure that there's a significant difference from the first movie. Um, you know that we that we that we went to the next level in this movie. So uh, that was the biggest challenge, Pro progressing and um, trying to to do more than what we did before. Yeah, and I think from probably from a entertainment technical aspect, in addition to what Kevin was saying, we wanted to make the, um, the movie feel bigger mm -hmm. and feel more exciting, more fun, more greater action. Uh, and definitely uh, new characters too as well. Yeah. Okay, and uh, for, for me, my favorite thing was with the monkeys. The Dokai monkeys? It's like a ba baboon. Angels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This thing was amazing on the bridge. And uh, is there any funny or technical things that you guys would love to share during the shoots? Kevin was running one time through the bridge because the bridge were moving. Yeah. We, we used practical bridges. We built big bridges on soundstage. So we were running on them, they were running and moving like this, and it got a little dangerous. Yeah. And Kevin, and we were up high, maybe 30, 40 feet. And one time, remember when Kevin, the thing broke, and Kevin fell through. Oh my goodness. And fell all the way down okay. to the ground. That, yeah. Did you get injured? Yes. That, that shouldn't be and your we favorite. Like, <laughs> no, that's, that's Woo, not. <laughs> the game fell. No, remember? that's not. That's, there was one scene uh, that got that got crazy, um, where he basically cuts the bridge, and then he holds on and swings and smacks into the uh, to the wall. Well, when that happened, that biggest laugh on set no, from from that, the cast, the crew, I got hurt. Everybody's like, ah! <laughs> The rock smashed into a rock. No, I got hurt. Yes. That's not funny. Yeah, it's like the rock smashed that's into a rock. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were saying. No, no. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I know there's a lot of visual effects in the film. So when you guys are acting in front of green screens and blue screens, how do you get your emotions right to get into the mood and acting in front of something that actually doesn't exist? Good question. You can tell he's a <coughs> yeah. director, right? Yeah. He makes films. You're, um, you're a director. Yeah, you can tell. We, we relied on our director. Mm -hmm. That's what you, you know, for, for when you work against green screen and blue screen as actors, you can come as prepared as you have to be, but you really rely on your director to help you through the scenes, to make sure that you're feeling the right emotions to the right things that are happening, that will be happening on screen. You know what we had that was, uh, that was pretty cool? We had pictures um, and like cutouts of the mandrels uh, for some portions of it so we could get a visual of what they look like and just kind of use that within our imagination. But like you said, your director, you uh, or other uh, people that share the same profession would paint the, the correct picture for us to, to kind of see and act off of. Oh, great. So this one is for DJ. Uh, do you have any advice for people like me for fitness? Like I'm oh. 157 kilograms. I want to gain some weight. Oh, yeah. sure. I'm glad you asked me. Yeah. Um, yes, I would say you just got to commit yourself, go to the gym, um, and you have to push yourself. That's the thing. You know, no one's gonna give you anything for free. You got to do it yourself. And you got to push hard. Such a typical. Right. Answer. That's what you have to do. Thank you though, Thank for you. asking me. Yeah. And that's <laughs> And uh, Kevin, you are very experienced with uh, comedy acting and uh, talk shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there any tips for all the young actors and actresses? Oh, see, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's why you have to be patient. You got It's got to come back around to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, look, the, the biggest tip that I can give anybody is to um, always, always try. You know, a lot of people talk about what they want to do and what they're going to do, and they mm -hmm. don't actually put any effort or attempt behind the the verbal side of it um 
be a person of action. Do. And nine times out of ten, when you do, you'll get the results mm. that you want eventually. Mm. Okay, and uh, this one is for DJ again. Mm. So, do you think your WA background mm. helps you with your uh, performance? Sure, I do. Yeah, oh, well, in terms of action, yes. Um, because it just enabled me to, you know, know how to throw a punch, take a punch, things like that. So, yes. And uh, last question. Okay, so, so for you, you guys, do you guys normally play video games and uh, or just I mobile do. phone games? I'm a big gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a, I'm a, I don't even know if you guys know this, but in the States, I'm ranked pretty high. He is. He's yeah. ranked high. I'm ranked comes, number one. Well, okay. I That's won enough. the gaming championship of the world. Uh, during the shoots, do you guys play together? Uh, no. He doesn't have cable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't have a TV. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no. If we don't, we don't have the time to. Yeah. When we're, yeah, when we're shooting this long days, so we we can't. I wish we could, but we can't. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Really good job. Uh, the film was great. Oh, I good. Really, I really enjoyed it. Ah, oh, nice. Because I'm a filmmaker myself. Oh, cool. So my question would be a little te technical. Great, man. I, I love it. Okay, for the whole shoot, which scene you think is the most challenging one, and how do you manage to to film it? I think probably the most, in terms of the filmmaking, the most challenging uh, scene in the movie is probably the sequence with the monkeys on the bridges. Yeah. That was probably the most complex thing I've ever worked on. Yeah. So, like, which part do you think is the most difficult? Um, well, you know, there's a, it's a, combination of a lot of practical stunt work that we're actually doing the actors are in it um, and then you know obviously there's a huge CG component um, and in order to get those things working together and have the you know sort of figure out the interaction of the people and the animals and the bridges it's just a tremendous amount of sort of planning and design to it and then shooting it is complicated and then after you shoot it you're working on it for you know, for me that that scene I was working on at least a little bit of every day for almost two years. Two you know? years. Yeah, year and year and a half. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And uh, for a film that has so much CGI and uh, visual effects, how did you manage to motivate all the actors? Especially this time, you got like people swapping personalities. How did you manage to motivate all the characters uh, and uh, the actors and actresses to perform? Well, this cast doesn't take much motivation. They all show up ready to play and ready to be great every day. Um, so for me, that's like a, a real gift because you, you walk in and you start to set it up and I sit there looking at the monitor and I'm laughing all day and that's the truth. Great. Um, and how about like the whole creative process? Do you mind to give us like a timeline? So how long does it take for you to do scripting and storyboarding and actual production and post-production? In this case, we did it all fairly quickly. Um, and you know, it's a, in terms of the writing, I was writing it with the guys that I that I wrote the with the, uh, Jeff Penkner and Scott Rosenberg wrote the movie with me. The three of us sat down and started writing. It took us about four months or something to write or and then sort of because I knew we were you know trying to work it out with everybody's schedules and get organized and time to make the movie when we did um, you know I sort of started doing some of the design and storyboarding kind of work while we were still writing the script and then we you know shot it for a few months and then uh, it was a kind of a fast post-production yeah okay. and uh, do you have any preferences over the look of the image? Like for the lens choice, do you like anamorphic or just normal sharp lenses? Uh, we shot this movie anamorphic actually. We yeah. did the first one spherical and this one anamorphic. And um, uh, it was cool. I'd never done that before. <laughs> I loved it. And it gives you a look that's kind of, you know, you can't replicate except by using actual anamorphic lenses. So, I mean, they're both widescreen 240, yeah. but this time we were. Um, uh, using actual anamorphic lenses. And how about the cameras? What camera did you use? For? We use the Alexa. Alexa. Yeah, yeah. It's a great camera. It's a great camera and it's incredibly versatile and um, 
it, it's the absolute right choice for this movie. Yeah. And uh, and for color grading, do you have any preferences, like for skin tones and the overall look? Um, I do. I spend a lot of time doing that. Yeah, I was in fact I, I was uh, doing it until pretty recently. Yeah. Now that's something we work on really, really closely in terms of what the people. Uh, look like but then also you know you sort of finish a lot of the CG work in there and so you can affect how the sequences feel and play it's it's a part of the process that people don't talk about that much but yeah. that's actually really really important yeah. yeah and the sound mixing is great I can hear loads of details yesterday ah nice I'm glad to hear you say that yeah that's uh, it's uh, the movie is mixed by the probably the best mixers in the world and I uh, we we I love working with those guys, actually, and I'm going to tell them you said that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, cool. And uh, probably the last question. Sure. So, uh, if I ask you to give some suggestions to for the, all the new filmmakers, mm -hmm. um, what kind of suggestions you would give to them to help them to improve, to become better filmmaker? To directors, you mean? Yeah, directors. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, it's a. Uh, I think that. Um, the moment that we're in, this, this, uh, the, in, in terms of the technology and just the, this moment in the, in the form, you know, it's actually a great time to be starting yeah. to do this because you can make a movie on your phone. Anyone can do it. There's no barrier of entry anymore to, to making a movie in the way that there really used to be. And so, for the first time ever, I really think you can say, you know, that just like learning to play an instrument, it's kind of like practice makes perfect and make things and keep making things and challenge yourself to make different kinds of things. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you much, sir. All right, thank man. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really Thanks. appreciate it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay.